right, and um, here we are at Saturday. Our time in South Africa is kind of winding down. Mm -hmm. We're starting to think about going back um, home tomorrow. But we had a pretty extraordinary day yesterday. I'd say so. Would yeah. you say so? Yeah. Um, and, and what stood out for you yesterday in uh, our trip? Archbishop Desmond Tutu has a very infectious laugh, <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. So we had the chance to see, meet, worship with Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Mm -hmm. Did you ever in your wildest dreams think you'd be not just worshiping with him, but what else? Well, we had breakfast with him too. I had some eggs and toast, <laughs> and he had a nice chocolate milkshake. <laughs> so he, he was just so real. Such a, like a grandfather, right? Right, exactly. Like it, a grandfather. It's like my grandpa. It's, it's right. crazy. Right. He just sat down right with us, mm -hmm. and uh, the folks at this little market cafe knew what to bring him, his hot water to warm his hands, because mm -hmm. <laughs> cause he's uh, working on keeping those hands warm. Mm -hmm. And then, then came his, uh, his hot water, I think some tea, and then the chocolate, chocolate milkshake shake. for yep. breakfast. Yep. After he told us that Fridays are really about fasting. Mm -hmm. One of the things that um, I felt as we were sitting there, you and I, and, and Beth Crow, and a, uh, an official from the Obama administration, right. <laughs> and then a, a young man student. working on his mm -hmm. PhD, I felt a, just a huge sense of, I am not worthy. <laughs> right. um, how is this even possible? How mm. is this even happening? I wonder kind of how you felt. Well, you know, I just, I felt very honored, you know, because I was yeah. definitely by far the youngest person right. at the table. I had no idea if you had told me a month ago I'd be eating breakfast right. with the with the Archbishop Desmond Tutu with uh, somebody who works for Obama and a PhD yeah. student, right. a bishop, I'd right. be, uh, that's yeah. another lady. But no, yeah. it was crazy. What do you think that's going to mean to you over time? I mean, that you had this special blessing of sitting down with Archbishop and spending some time talking with, what do you think you're going to take away from that? Well, I think that I, I, almost immediately it makes me realize that my heroes are also people just yeah. like me and yeah. that, you know, there's a potential that every human has to be great and to do amazing things. Yeah. Um, and I think that also just long term, it's really, I asked him a question. I asked him what he thought the youth's role should be in social movements right now. And he responded and he said it should be what it has always been to have that uniqueness of the youthful energy and to just be relentless in, um, mm -hmm. in, in fighting for what's right. And I think that was very affirming to hear yeah. from him because I hear adults say it sometimes, uh, not all the time because sometimes adults aren't the uh, most supportive of youth. But... Um, we're trying, we're trying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, but when he said those words, it, this is one of my biggest heroes, right? Yeah. Saying, you can do this, you can do it. You are worthy. You are valid. You can you can do it, and yeah. th that that's just amazing. Voice, yeah. uh, exactly. He was he was asked the question. Uh, he was told that we've heard in some places uh, some concerns that maybe youth, particularly the youth who've been born free mm. here in South Africa, um, don't understand the sacrifices and won't mm -hmm. have the same passion and, and commitment. And I thought his response to that was so interesting. He said, that is not my experience. Mm -hmm. he, he was quite passionate about saying, when I talk to youth, when I hear youth, when I watch youth, I am inspired. I am hopeful. He seemed to be saying that the, the youth, the continued work of the youth and the voice of the youth in South Africa is inspiring him. Mm -hmm. And he has had um, some concerns. He's voiced some criticisms lately about where, th where the movement is in South mm -hmm. Africa on race and reconciliation, but seemed to think that the youth, like like what we're doing here right. um, is really inspiring him. Right. That was, um, I was in, that's a lot of encouragement. Right, definitely. That's a lot of encouragement. Um, Leighton, how did you feel about the, we, you know, we attended a Eucharist mm -hmm. with the Archbishop. Tell, describe that. The I, whole, our whole team did that. Our whole, yeah. Um, wow. I think, you know, it was just really, it was really powerful for me just because, again, it's Archbishop Tutu. Um, just saying the things he said, I, 
I, I found it so cute that he had this little he had this little Vancouver 2010 Olympic um, mitt to keep the his the red mitt the red mitt right to keep his hands warm. My mom has those same mittens at home. It was just it was it was just so funny, so cute that he could be not cute. It was just awesome that so he could so human be, and right. divine and yeah right, yeah. but also so just. He's, he's Desmond Tutu. He's right. out of this world, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. It's, it's amazing. One of the things that I came away from that, I mean, there was a beautiful worship service. It started at 7. We got up at 4 to be mm-hmm. on the bus by 5 a.m. The, the Eucharist started at 7, and we got there a little bit early, but the room was filled. I mean, there might have been mm-hmm. 140 people from yeah. all over the world mm-hmm. in the St. John's Side Chapel. And what I loved is that... We were the body of Christ from all mm-hmm. over the world. And just for that moment, in that place, at that time, with this holy man. Yeah. And we knew what to do. Yeah. We, we just, you know, we were Anglicans, but we, we knew, and even if you weren't Anglican, you just knew what to do. Now, there was an interesting thing that happened. We heard it four times before the service and then during the service the to, to do the psalm a certain way. And oh, it was about, yes. you will stop at the colon, you will pause. We will responsively, uh, by whole verse, stopping at the colon. Mm-hmm. And you know, it, we all kind of laughed about. It, and in fact, we messed it up, right? Everyone and then the Archbishop yeah. started, and he said, he said, "You will honor the colon." And so I kind of thought about that, and I thought it reminded me about how he has been formed in monastic life. He spent time living with monks early, mm. and he spends so much time every day. He rises and does the morning prayer at 5 a.m. Mm. And he he takes the liturgy so seriously. Mm. And you know, it's interesting, we've been talking about lift every voice. He's reminding us, pause, take a breath. Mm. You know, listen for God in the silence. Yes. I, that, that's what I took. And, that, and that's the beauty of us figuring that out during the song. Let's learn how to do this together, together right. so that our voices are together and our silences are rich, mm. not just our, our noise, but our silences. And so I think the fact that he, Nelson Mandela, you know, all our heroes, mm-hmm. um, they've been formed by the church. Mm. They were ready right. for the times, right. what the times have demanded of them. And so for us to be formed by the liturgy, right. by the church, so that we're, we're ready. We're ready. I th- don't you think our team's ready? I, I think we I are. I think this amazing yeah. Lift Every Voice team is now, and that's what we're going to go do now, right? Mm-hmm. Is do this some more processing about where do we go from here? Yeah, we'll mm-hmm. go home to Botswana. We'll go home to North Carolina and California, Virginia, South Carolina, back to the West Cape. But home is also with each other always. Mm-hmm. But we got to spread out. Go out, as right. Bishop Sir Curry says, go. <laughs> go. Go deep. Go. Yeah. Go share, go do. And spread but the go. Jesus movement. And the Jesus movement. Right. I yes. think we got it. I think we got this. I think we got it. I think it. we're going to do this. All right. Awesome.